Today on The Domestic Geek, I'm excited to be celebrating all things mom with a simple but elegant brunch menu that's actually effortless to put together. I'm going to show you how to create these adorable ham and Swiss puff pastry bundles, my sour cream and chai scrambled eggs, and a beautiful berry cup topped with homemade whipped cream. We're kicking things off with some adorable ham and Swiss puff pastry bundles. For this recipe, I'm going to be using some store-bought puff pastry dough, but if you wanted to make your own, by all means, go ahead. So I'm going to get started by putting some flour out on my board and then laying out my puff pastry. You want to make sure that your pastry is well floured on both sides so it doesn't stick. Next, using a pizza cutter or a sharp knife, all you're going to do is cut your puff pastry into squares. For this recipe, I chose to use some ham, Swiss, and asparagus. But you could switch things up using some roasted turkey or some roasted chicken. You could also do this with any type of cheese you like. The world is really your oyster. When it comes to your asparagus, you want to make sure that you drizzle it first with a little bit of olive oil to prevent it from burning while your bundles are baking. All I'm going to do on each square is lay out one piece of ham, some Swiss cheese, and a few pieces of asparagus. Then I'm just going to fold each corner in to create a bundle. I'm going to transfer these guys onto a parchment lined baking sheet and finish them off with some egg wash. Egg wash is really simple to make. It's just a matter of beating one egg with a little bit of water and using a pastry brush to make sure each bundle is well coated. Egg wash is really important because it's going to help you get a nice golden flaky crust. Into the oven these beauties go at 425 for between 15 and 20 minutes. Once they're done, they are so pretty, no one will believe they're homemade. Next up, we're going to get working on my sour cream and chives scrambled eggs. I know it may sound a little peculiar, but trust me, don't knock it until you've tried it. These are the best scrambled eggs I have ever had. All I'm doing is combining some eggs with a few dollops of sour cream. Whisk them together really well until they're completely smooth. Then heat some butter in a frying pan over medium-high heat. The secret to perfectly creamy scrambled eggs is to make sure they never stop moving. So once those eggs hit the pan, you want to keep stirring them until they're completely cooked. Another great tip is to not season your eggs until the very end because the salt tends to dry them out. Once they're fully cooked, you can add your salt, pepper, and freshly chopped chives. These eggs are probably some of the best you'll ever have. To wrap things up today, we are making a simple berry cup topped with some homemade whipped cream. For my homemade whipped cream, I'm using my stand mixer, but you could also do this with an electric mixer or with a whisk by hand if you were feeling ambitious. All you're going to do is combine some whipping cream with some powdered sugar and a splash of vanilla extract. And then it's just a matter of whisking it all up until it becomes whipped cream. We're going to add a scoop of this deliciousness to some strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries, and there you go, breakfast is served. I really hope your mom loves these recipes as much as I do. And I definitely want to take this opportunity to wish my mom a very happy Mother's Day. You guys might not know this, but she has been the biggest supporter of The Domestic Geek from the very beginning. And I couldn't be more grateful for all her love and support. So, mom, happy Mother's Day. Thanks for always being you. You're my hero. Don't forget to subscribe to The Domestic Geek because there's lots more deliciousness where this came from.